you have a dash camera, you have a hardwiring cable, and you have a dash cam battery pack. How do you get those all connected together? Luckily, most of the popular dash cam battery packs on the market are produced by eGen, and they have the same connector and terminal pin arrangement. So I'm gonna show you the parts necessary to add to the end of your hardwiring cable and get that dash cam powered by that dash cam battery pack. So let's get into it. When you purchase a dash cam battery pack to power your dash camera, you have one more important question to answer, and that's how are you going to connect the power output from the dash cam battery pack to your dash camera? Often the dash cam battery packs will include an output cable that has a cigarette lighter compatible port and it's a two wire capable connection. You'll supply constant power and ground. But if you need a dash camera to be connected with a three wire connection for constant power, accessory power and ground, you need to have a way to connect that to the dash cam battery pack. Some vendors that sell dash cam battery packs will offer an option to give you a cable that will plug into the dash cam battery packs output power port, and then it will be spliced together with a compatible cable for that particular dash camera that you're using. You may also have the option to purchase an output power cable that is unspliced. Unspliced simply means the output power cable will plug into the dash cam battery pack with the appropriate connector and wiring, and it will terminate with just bare wires. You then are responsible for connecting those wires to the appropriate wires for the wiring harness supplied with the dash cam itself. Please remember that a two wire connection to your dash camera battery pack will provide constant power and ground only. It will not provide the accessory power necessary for some dash cameras to enter and exit parking mode. Many of the popular dash cam battery packs on the market today are all produced by the same company, eGen. And because eGen has produced those dash cam battery packs, they use the same style output connector and terminal pin layout. Using that information, you should be able to add the appropriate connector and terminal pins to the end of the hardwiring cable to source the power for your dash camera from that dash cam battery pack. In this example, I'm using the Black Box My Car Power Cell 8, which is produced by eGen. And we're taking a look at the terminal layout from left to right. On the extreme left, we have the constant power. To the right of that, we have the switched or accessory power. And to the right of that, we have the ground terminal pin. Please note that some hardwiring cables for dash cameras will expect the constant power on the yellow wire and the accessory power on the red wire, such as with the Blackview three wire hardwiring harness. Then there are some hardwiring harnesses or hardwiring kits that expect the constant power on the red wire and the accessory or switch power to be supplied to the yellow wire. Please make sure you identify the appropriate wire color that is to receive the constant and accessory power for your particular cabling needs. If you have purchased the power output cable for your dash camera battery pack, Make sure you pay attention to which wire color receives the constant power and the accessory power. There are times that the constant power and accessory power wire colors on the output power cable will differ from the hardwiring harness from your dash camera. Make sure you pay attention to which one supplies it and which one will receive it and splice them together appropriately. In this section, I'm going to show you the items necessary to add the connector to the end of the hardwiring cable to plug directly into an eGen produced dash cam battery pack. If you're not comfortable with stripping wires, crimping on terminal pins, you might want to consider purchasing the output power cable for your particular dash cam battery pack and splicing that together with the hardwiring cable from your dash camera. Now let's start going through the parts I use to add that connector to plug into the dash cam battery pack. I source all my connectors and terminal pins from Mouser Electronics. They're not a sponsor, but they're a very good source for this type of parts. I buy in bulk because I make a variety of cables since I review a variety of dash cameras so I have to buy them in bulk to make the cables necessary for my reviews. Here are the Mouser part number 538-4364500. That's for the plastic terminal connector that plugs into the dash camera battery pack. Now here's a top view and bottom view of that connector. On the top of this picture is the bottom side that has the clip that snaps in and retains the clip within the dash cam battery pack. And on the bottom of this picture, we can see the top side of that connector. On the top of this picture, you can see the end that plugs into the dash cam battery pack, and on the lower end is the end that the wires with the terminal pins plug into. Here's a roll of 100 of the female terminal pins that are used for this particular connection. Mouser part number 538-4330-001-CT, and CT is for cut tape this long roll of 100. Here's a close-up view of the female terminal pin. On the left end, we have the section that crimps around the wire insulation. 
Just to the right of that is the section where the bare wire is placed and you crimp that onto the bare wire. And then the two tabs just to the right of that where it says don't crimp, that's important because that slides into the plastic terminal connector itself. And if those are crimped, it won't slide in correctly. And here's an example of one of those terminal pins added to one of the wires from the wiring harness. I have the parts ready to go together here. I have the wires stripped with a very small section of wire that fits within that section of the terminal pin. I have the three terminal pins and the plastic connector, so let's assemble it. Those two metal tabs need to be facing upward towards the side that has the clip on this particular connector. You should then be able to push those terminal pins into the connector and they should snap into place and not be able to be pulled back out. Here's a view of the terminal pins fully installed into that terminal connector and this is the end that plugs into the dash cam battery pack. And here's a view from the top side showing the arrangement for the eGen produced dash cam battery packs with this style connector and the rightmost terminal pin slot is left empty. Here are the tools I use to strip the wires and crimp the terminal pins. Now the terminal pin crimper on the bottom is not necessarily the correct one. I actually start at the C location, crimp them through that, then the B location, and then for the wire section of the terminal pin, I use the A section to fully clamp onto the wire. If you purchase a power output cable for your dash cam battery pack, often those will include a RFI EMI noise suppressor ferrite ring cord wrapped around the cable. And I'm going to add that to this particular cable in case you're interested in doing that for yours. I'll have that part number information down in the video description section. I'll prepare the wires by wrapping them in electrical tape to protect them as I wrap them through the ferrite ring core. And then I'll route the wires through the ferrite ring core, wrapping it underneath and back through it again. And then I'll close up the ferrite ring core to snap it together. And here's a comparison between the power output cable that I purchased for a Blackview B-124X dash cam battery pack and the one that I just made using the Blackview three wire hardwiring cable and adding the components I showed you in this video. In this bonus section, I'm gonna show you the parts necessary to add a connector of the other type, the one that's on the inside of the dash cam battery pack. Here we have the Mouser part number 538436400-400. And that's the connector style that's on the inside of the dash cam battery pack itself. Although this has some plastic clips, which can be cut off pretty easily if you don't want them. Here are the male terminal pins that go into that connector, 538-43031-0001-CT. Again, this part information will be down in the video's description section. Here is a close-up of the male terminal pin and the same crimping cautions that I mentioned about the female terminal pin apply to the male terminal pin as well. And on the top side of this picture, we have the bottom view of this connector, which has that little protrusion there where the clip from the other connector will reach around and clamp onto that to hold them together. And the bottom section of the picture is the top view. The connector on the top is showing the side that receives the terminal pins with the wires. And on the lower section, we have the side of the connector that receives the connector from the other end of the connection. And from this view, you can see those two pins that I mentioned that you should not crimp. Those are used to guide them through the connector, as you see here. And here's a top view of the two connectors. On the left, we have the dash cam cable coming into what would be a dash cam battery pack. In this case, I've simulated that by adding the connector to three 20 gauge wires. And here's that flipped around, looking at the bottom side of those connectors. On the left again is the dash cam side, and on the right is the dash cam battery pack side. Thanks for watching to the end of the video, and I hope the information in this video has been helpful to you. If it has been, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification to be notified when I upload new videos just like this one. Make sure you check out the video description section for the part number information that I included in this video and leave a question or comment down in the comment section. Thanks for coming to the channel and checking out the video. I'll see you in the next one.